Welcome to Northeast Narratives Tales from the City of Dreams Mumbai. In this series, we will explore various stories of individuals who have migrated from the Northeast in search of better opportunities. In this episode, we will delve into the journey of a young girl from Nagaland who has come to Mumbai to pursue her academic aspirations. Hi everyone, my name is Tiavong Tudir and welcome to this brand new series. Today in this episode, we'll be diving into the life of an individual who has migrated from the land of the festivals Nagaland and is here today in the metropolis Mumbai. We'll be diving into her life and we'll be experiencing the life of a student of a northeast migrant here in Mumbai. So now we'll be heading to Kalina, so come let's go and experience it. Here, in this place, there are so many people who have settled here for the last one decade or more. And today, we're going to dive in into the stories of some of them. And in this episode, we're going to dive in to the story of a young girl who has migrated from the land of the festival Snagland and is pursuing her academics here in Wilson College, Mumbai. Now, we are here in Kalina, Mumbai, and let's explore. Welcome to Kalina. This place is a quiet neighborhood nestled in Santa Cruz, Mumbai, and is brimming with clusters of Northeast migrants. As you see all of these houses, and you stroll through the streets, you will encounter Northeast shops, saloons, and cafes painting a vibrant picture of cultural fusion. These humble lands and residences echo stories of dreams, aspirations, and the relentless pursuit of a better life through hard work and resilience. This is a very crowded place, yet if you go up into these houses, there are so many noticed people staying here. Like I said, so many people come here for jobs and I was also here staying uh, a year ago. Not exactly here, but just around here and yeah. Uh, this place looks congested, this place looks as if like it's going to be very cheap but if you ask the rent of these houses here, it's very expensive and yeah, I'll show you. These are all the bike rents. Hi uncle. Hi. Yes, sir. And yeah, this is exactly where a lot of Nordic people stay here and you see people from uh, Nagaland mostly, then Manipur, then uh, Mizoram. Oh, sorry auntie. And so many, so many people from various different states come here. And now we're going to go and meet Kuku, who is, like I said, a student here. So let's go. Kuku! Hi. Hi, welcome. So yeah. Yeah, so let me take you to my room. Mm -hmm. So this is my room. Gotcha. Yeah, and then these are the plants. Yeah, we just took it from Coffin Market and everywhere Coffin we get, yeah. So these are the books. This one, uh, these are the books. I think you have heard of this, like I'm you sorry. can win nah, from Shivkar. It's I'm really sure. good, okay. yeah. I don't read books, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you read Sydney Shelton as well? Yeah, they're, yeah, kind of fun yeah. for me to be honest, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. Bye. So, so you so stay alone here? So I'm just staying with well, like one of my sister. Uh -huh. Like she's working here, so like that's I'm right. staying together with her. Yeah. That's okay. So how long have we been staying here? So uh, I came here for my education studies, uh -huh. like in a year of 2023. So that's like, right. yeah, I came here for my studies, like said, and then um, I'm like it is. It's going to be like one and a half year, mo uh -huh. most probably like two years. And uh -huh. so I shifted to this place uh, like last October, I guess. Yeah. So how do you like Mumbai? It's going really good to be honest. Like I really like Mumbai. Yeah, I always wanted to come here. People see that uh, this is a place of dreams, right? Uh -huh. As a Sapnoki Dunya as well. So like, yeah, it's it's going really. So good. is it is it really a city of dreams for you? 
to be honest um, yeah to be honest yeah there are a lot of opportunities and like a lot of things going on around right so like there are a lot of things to explore so yeah hi guys my name is Tujola and I'm from Kohima Nagaland and I'm currently here for my studies so please come join with me to make my breakfast yeah My day starts with uh, starting with the breakfast. So I'll first get up by 7.30, like around 8. Yeah, so I get up by that time and then I'll make tea or I'll just have juice and also like wheat egg. So today we have samosa special <laughs> and then we have omelet. I usually eat like uh, bread toast and all or maybe like biscuits with tea as well. And then like, um, so once I get done with my breakfast, I will go and get just washed up and uh, dressed up and I will rush to my college so um, how time do you go for uh, college at what time so like uh, my start my classes usually starts by 9 so I like I move from home by 8 I yeah 8 or 8 50 do you miss home of course I miss home who doesn't miss home right home is where our heart is so like I miss my families my friends and then just the people I love and also the food I miss our food like I I mean I really miss our hometown food yeah It's coming one minute. One minute. Yeah. So we are currently here in Santa Cruz Station. Yeah, Santa Cruz and Station. Where are we going? We're going to my college, Journey Road. Journey Road. Huh? Yeah. So how long does it take from here? It will take like uh, 40 minutes, 45. 40 minutes. Yeah. So you travel every day 45 minutes. Yes, from, I do. From the like home. Rent from here to here is 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah, almost probably. If there's no traffic, now. yeah. 20, 30 minutes. Then from here, 45 minutes. Yeah. Then you and walk then, again. Yeah, 10 minutes walking. Yeah, this so. is how nowadays people live here. Yeah? Yes, this Most is the us, struggle. Yeah, I mean, it's better to get a house far by yeah. a good affordable rent. True. Than to stay there yeah, yeah. Paying high rent, no? Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> So the train is finally here and we are supposed to go. In the bustling metropolis of Mumbai, where life moves at a frenetic pace, the heartbeat of the city resonates through its iconic local trains. They are not just a mere mode of transport. For many Mumbai cars, this daily commute abroad, these trains is not just a means to reach a destination. It's the heartbeat and melting pot of humanity where strangers became companion and the mundane journey that transforms into a vibrant mosaic of experiences of different individuals sitting in the same compartment with you. In Mumbai, they say that to truly understand the rhythm of the city, one must experience the ebb and flow of its local trends. Hi guys, we have reached my college, Wilson's College in Mumbai. So I think I'm already late. I'm getting late, so I'll go inside, have my classes. I'll come back and see you all during the lunch break. Bye. 
So hi everyone, we are here in the lands of South Bombay. Uh, just outside of here, we have Chaoboti, which is the beach here. And just across there, we have the Marine Drive. This is a very posh area where you wouldn't even find photos here. And this is Wilson College, one of the most reputed colleges here in Mumbai. A lot of Northeast people study here. And there is also an organization called Northeast Collective, where uh, Northeast people used to come together and organize events. And there is a community like that. And yes, she has just gone inside the uh, class for now. And she'll come back around one. So we're just gonna chill somewhere, sit somewhere and wait for her. And once she's back, we will also reunite with her again. And then she'll go back to class and maybe she'll come back around four and we'll call it a day. So let's go. Hi guys, it is Rukina Ishi. So like, I had my class from nine till one, and now we have our lunch break. So after our lunch break is done, uh, we have this Northeast Collective program coming up, like the farewell. So we have a meeting. So after lunch break, I'll go there. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back from college. Now it's already 6.28. Yeah, 6.28. Yeah, so I'm here at uh, a Northeast shop that is called Kamai shop. So this Northeast shop have a lot of uh, varieties, like a lot of stuffs. Yeah, I miss my home food. So it's so nice that uh, people from our uh, hometown, they bring stuffs and then they do business here. So I'll just pick up some stuff like the pumpkin over here, the banana, stem yeah also take some pumpkin leaves i think this is a pumpkin leaves yeah and then they also have this rajma i think this is called rajma yeah and then they have a lot of varieties like you can just have a look yeah we have the king chili so called the king chilies from nagaland and then this the boiled thing that we eat. I don't know the name. <laughs> See, this is my favorite. We have this Miko and then the coffee, three in one instant coffee. They have lots of varieties. Like, see this, the Naga Dal. And then there's bamboo shoot also. I love bamboo shoot. Yeah, so. It's <laughs> this is one of the craziest stairway to a restaurant I've seen. So currently we are here in Totrin and Kefena. Yeah. We're having food. We have Seiza salad. Uh, we have Seiza salad. Then we have a chicken with yeah. bamboo, bamboo shoot. Yeah. And we have Kang Choy, which is assorted mixed vegetables with uh, 
Ya, apa kaya ya? Uh, fish, this dry fish. Dry fish, nah. Yeah. And we ordered two rice. Yeah. Um, so this Todrin Cafe, like it's nearby my place, right? So like, uh, I came here I think, just twice, I guess. Uh, yeah. So they serve good food, according to me. Which Which one do you like the most here? Yeah. Of this uh, salsa. Salsa salad, no? Salsa salad, yeah. And I like the salsa salad. Uh -huh. It's one of my favorite salad here. Yeah, it's really good. Chicken is okayish, but then yeah, this one is really tasty. For yeah, me. yeah. I usually come here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so what do you eat at dinner for dinner? Your roommate cooks for you. Yeah, what? my roommate. She's such a good cook. So, I'm like, I feel so uncomfortable sharing, uh, like, showcasing my food skills to her. <laughs> yeah, she's such a good cook. So we, uh, she, we cook like, no, she cooks like beef or maybe fish. Yeah, she loves cooking, so she can cook all types of naga food. So far, Mumbai has been like uh, really good for me. I love the people here, the culture, and then. Like a lot of diversity is now we can see a lot. Of, yeah. So uh, the one thing that I love the most is the people. To be honest, yeah, yeah they mean, have been so kind. People here are quite honest. kind here. Yeah, no? yeah. I mean, yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah, broad-minded. Like mm -hmm. uh, in some way, they're overly broad-minded. But mm -hmm. then, like it's. Yeah, it's the people that I, I love. Think, even with uh, regard to security guard and all, they're always very nice to you, no? Yeah, yeah. Security guard and yeah, all the of watchman uncle, he's watchman like always, uncle. yeah, so kind. Even the place I used to stay, no? Mm -hmm. There was this watchman uncle, no? I used yeah, to stay yeah. in that side, uh -huh. on other side. Achha. So, watchman uncle used to be very nice to me. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and uh -huh. then, it's, they're always very kind. Mm -hmm. True. People true. have this misconception now. If you come to Mumbai, people are bad to you and all of those, not discrimination and all of yeah, those. Yeah, that's why. I mean, it does happen, but at yeah, what rate, no? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, it's very low rate, no? Mm -hmm. We can't speak for Delhi, of course. <laughs> Delhi yeah, is a different city altogether. Yeah, it can be, yeah. yeah. You like eating by hand or a spoon? Uh, I'm comfortable with hand. I mean, so. yeah, I eat with any. I think our people back home, like, we are more comfortable eating with hand, right? Uh -huh. That's like our culture. So you also know, right, that like, uh, people here, uh, they don't get contact with the organizations and then later, after, once they get into trouble, like, they come to the um, students' union or maybe the church pastors, like, uh -huh. they get in contact with them when they're in need of something. Yeah. So I think, like, uh, it's better for them to get in touch with the church or maybe there is a union called the Naga Students' Union Mumbai, so yeah. they can also come and approach them and then, like, whenever they're in need of anything, like, uh, people, like, the executives, they're, they're always there to help us, so I think they should get in contact with uh, the Naga Students Union Mumbai, the churches, yeah. yeah it's very true. I mean, uh, we just don't have like Naga Students for Northeast. We have all these Mizo, uh, Mizo yeah, associations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think Tripura people also have some sort of oh. this thing, not yeah, association, yeah, but so. there's something. There's I think our, our people know, yeah. uh, migrating from Northeast, mm -hmm. I think it's very important for us to contact. You yeah. also have, I'm sure you also have a lot of experiences where we have gone help uh, people who yeah. have gone through these, that yeah, scam. Yeah, 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 true, true. <laughs> Many people come here for jobs and then yeah, scam can hoi jai, mm -hmm. And then like, yeah, some people they get scammed and then like some for some people like, uh, they get into like fights with the local mm -hmm. people or maybe like uh, when there is like unfortunate of that as well, like, uh, so like the union have to go even if they don't know who that person is. And even if they didn't register or so. True. Like it's like our first time meeting them, uh, so it's difficult to just uh, get connection with that, no? So yeah. So guys, we had just we just had our dinner at Totring's Cafe. I'm so full, like so full. So. So if you guys are planning to come in Mumbai, so like my for my own pers uh, for my own experience for my own experience, like Mumbai is such a, a big a culture, a very diversity city. So like uh, for me personally, uh, I'm having so much fun. Like the people are so amazing, so kind, and then they accept the way as we are. Like they, okay, there are times when people think that like we are from uh, we are not from this place. That's what they think. But then like. Uh, other than that, like everything is going fine, and then people say like, uh, when if you go to Mumbai, this happened, this, 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 this. But then like, I don't know. From my experience, like it's all going good. 
this is all about my day, a student life in Mumbai. So I I went to college and came back, had dinner with Tia Pong and all. And so yeah, I'm so grateful for this day. Thank you for this experience. I had such an amazing experience. Like I could also just reflect on my day. So thank you so much. Thank you. So finally guys, that's the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as you can see the bustling city and the bustling colony here in Kalina Santa Cruz. We're ending the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Northeast Narratives Tales from the City of Dreams, Mumbai, Maharashtra.